All right, YouTube, today uh, we're going to do uh, carburetor and fuel lines on an Echo PE 225 Edger. All right, we'll get right to it. First, we're going to take off the air filter assembly. We got the air filter, then it's a T27 bolt. I use, this is a still torque wrench. Um, it's T27. It's also got the spark plug sock in it, so it comes very handy. Um, I'll put that and uh, the whole kit with the carburetor, fuel lines, everything in the description. Yeah. Alright, so uh, the kit comes with everything we will need. Um, fuel lines, primer ball, spark plug, air filter, carburetor, everything you could possibly need. It's like under 20 bucks. So, alright, the next thing we're going to do is uh, take these fuel lines off and pop this throttle cable out and just move this. And twist this cable at the same time. Got to use two hands to do that. But get the throttle cable out. See, it's just a little uh, barrel that goes into the, the throttle holder. So to get that out, 10 millimeter wrench, loosen this and lift this out. And then we're going to use a flathead screwdriver and get us get it up underneath this grommet and just pr and pry it out. Okay. Get the gas cap off and out of the way. Um, and then we're going to dump the tank out. Let's all pull straight out and dump the tank out. I wonder if this thing is freaking legal or not. We have to freaking. Uh, that's funny. I've never seen these on, still on it. We'll, get that. we'll cut this off for them. But um, that'll be next. Um, then we're going to get the new. Uh, so the new uh, get, uh, seal on this one isn't the right one. It usually comes with oh, with both grommets, but it didn't come with the other grommet. So uh, I'm gonna have to get the uh, get a new grommet out of my thing. All right, so now we're gonna just push this uh, rubber uh, rubber primer in. We get the back half in, and then use a flathead blade to push it in on the front half. So you just press it in. Kind of like so it's hard for me to do it with oh look it worked all right um usually you do it you'll get it with uh, all the fuel lines in it um it didn't come with it so i'm just going to put this in my spare parts and uh i'm going to grab my uh huge thing of uh fuel line and uh and do my own but um i'll just make sure that the 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 one that i uh list on amazon uh, in the description below on amazon has the the small grommet and the large grommet just so you've got both of them all right cut this off at a point dip it in oil and stick it in one of the grommet holes about you know about an inch um and then uh bring it up to about the top of the uh uh the uh insulator block and then cut it off cut the uh line into a point again stick it in some oil any oil will do it's just lubricant that's all and then stick it into the block again the the grommet again this time we're going to get enough in there that we can reach in there and grab it this is going to be our filter line bring it out about that much cut the end of the line off so it's level and uh cut the other side uh, slightly longer than the, the first one just so you know that that's the filter line the longer one will be the filter line all right now uh, hold on let me go get a filter then you get the vent line um, it's just a little white vent it, it, I, I pulled it out of the other one um, and then stick it in some oil you can do the regular line like that and then freaking put a vent on it but I just pulled the whole thing out of the other one and push it down in until it sticks out the bottom like so. Um, vent will go in this section here, I believe. Oh, no, yeah, in this one it will. And you just want to get it to where it's not kinked all over. So you just keep shoving line in until, until it's not kinked over. Um, I'm going to grab it with my needle nose. And we're going to get the... Uh, Fuel filter. This thing does not want to stay up ever. Push it all the way back into the tank. 
so that it is level on the bottom of the tank. Come on, get in there. All right. It's level on the bottom of the tank. All right. Now the uh, filter line, which is longer line so that we can see it, goes on to the bigger prong of the, the two prongs on this carburetor. That is the filter prong. Then the other line goes on the smaller barb. Then we're going to hook up the uh, throttle cable. Just slide it back in place. And I guess it's not that easy. Not with one hand, it isn't. Alright, we're going to get that back in place and tighten it back with a 10 millimeter. Alright, then we're going to turn this and put that cable back in it. You'll kind of get this cable to this point. I don't know why this is blurry so much. And then you just pull the trigger and it, it'll pop back into, well, it should pop back in there. I guess it won't this time. We'll get it in there with a screwdriver or something. Then make sure that gasket is there. It's important. And put the uh, air filter assembly back on with a choke towards the recoil. Then put the air filter on. And then the air filter cover on and then gas gas cap and she's ready all right guys that's how you do the uh, carburetor fuel lines on a pe 225 echo um this uh any of the stuff that you need is going to be in the description below if this helped you anyway give me a thumbs up uh subscribe show me some love uh peace here's today's t-shirt see ya bye